Dix it, the fee show, we will remember that. Guys, what do we make of this? We talked before about what should SK do uh, do going into the next game. Can they just ban out the champions that they had trouble with? That is exactly what they did, banning out Lee Sin, Kha'Zix, and LeBlanc. What did you make of their game plan then after that of SK? Well, SK had a very standard game plan, and Fnatic actually made a huge mistake by trying to defend the tower in bot lane with Nocturne. You play against Nelise, who is the best diver in the game, so even in a 3 versus 2 situation, they couldn't hold the tower and both died. They had a dream scenario, but SK, for some reason, couldn't close out the game with a huge lead. So this is probably going to be a big mental blow to their game. Um, talk me a little bit through that. You say you should never defend that. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, um, I don't think in this match it's beneficial to defend at all because usually people will just group four people on one lane and try to push as fast as possible. And if you're then defending four against two, especially when you're against an Elise, then you're going to like lose two people for none instead of just pushing the top lane to it. And then we also see Yellow Star and Reckless actually die to the Shivana that's defending the turret alone and she can soak up all the experience. So it's, I don't think the decision making there was the right thing. That um, was also very important for the Shivana because you mentioned before, Lulu will just beat absolutely everybody. So they absolutely needed that and then the Shivana could get ahead. Talk me through that matchup because you were quite adamant about the fact that you, know, you can just not win versus the Lulu. Lulu is just great for kiting and a champion like Shivana needs to be able to run up at their opponent and Lulu has everything in her kit to make sure that that, that isn't possible. Mm -hmm. So a great advantage for SK this game, as we saw a great advantage for Fnatic the last game, and you said, you know, it slowed down in the mid game. There was nothing else they could do. So what happened then here? Why couldn't SK push through? So I don't think SK got far enough ahead despite getting the two kills bottom and getting the um, kill top lane at the early game. And they kind of have a pick composition with the Ari and Leona where they want to kill somebody and then maybe they can team fight after that. For straight up team fighting, they are hard countered by the Lulu ultimate, by the Black Shield coming out of Magana, the Nidalee heals, they even have two exhausts on top of that and it reduces to 50% of all the damage coming in in this patch. And you can't really have a pick composition when you can't pick somebody off because they're just too strong at defending themselves in team fights. And on top of that, they have a lot of wave clear and they beat them in split pushing in 1v1. So it's just really bad uh, pick and ban phase coming out of SK. Shields, heals, and damage reduction. That reminds me of a certain game yesterday. No nightmares coming back for that one. Sorry, Frog. And it is, of course, very annoying to play against. Um, do you feel like if SK caught them out and played a team fight perfectly, they would have easily won the game, Youngbuck? if they could have bursted someone. But as Frogan said, the Lulu, the Morgana, the Sivir also has movement speed. You, they just couldn't catch up to them and stick on their targets. So we set out after game one, what can SK do? Can they ban out a couple of champions? That is exactly what they did, but that plan didn't work. Do they have a plan C going into game three? What could be an option? So if they are going to play this meta game, they should probably go for something like an AoE heavy champion in mid because Fnatic likes the double AP where they're squishy. So if you get the champion in mid, they can actually poke them down. And we know Jesse, he likes to play Nidalee or Rihanna 6 and stuff that actually likes to poke people down first. So I don't understand why he doesn't go with something like Oriana that he played in the last game as well and probably feels comfortable on because he just played it. And going for Ari instead, which doesn't have that huge of an impact against all the exhausts. What do you think should be the priority for top lane? If Trundle's open, it's going to be picked by Freddy anyway. Trundle won't be open. I think that SK has to ban out the Lulu again. It just brings too much trouble and works very well in the team comps that Fnatic has been playing today. So Lulu will probably be out. Trundle will be out. We'll probably see a Shivana against something. I'm not sure what Soas is going to play because his champion pool is just too big to predict anything from him. Yeah, maybe we'll see a Soraka again. Who knows? Thank you very much, guys. We're going to step off the rift for just a moment. And while we're gone, you can make sure you've put together the best build for this third game between SK Gaming and Fnatic. See you again in three and a half. As well, so we can move in. They've got it on towards the 